Well, we have, we have been talking about this all afternoon, and now this is a live look at I-15 at about 1100 South. You can see the wet pavement and the rain coming down. We've heard it, and we've felt it, and we've been listening to it all through the newscast, Allison. Yeah, it's hard to This miss. is a welcome sight, though, I gotta say. Well, the problems with these storms today have been a lot of very strong winds, so damaging wind in addition to that rainfall. And if this heavy rainfall occurs on top of an area like a recent burn scar, that's a whole nother problem. So it's a first alert action day. We reserve these for days when the weather will have a big impact on part of the viewing area. That certainly is the case today with some strong thunderstorms this afternoon and evening. So main threats, damaging wind, heavy rainfall, and also large hail. So stay weather aware today. Cold front is moving through ahead of it. We have some extremely gusty wind and strong thunderstorms. So right now, a severe thunderstorm warning does include Antelope Island up through Hill Air Force Base down into Salt Lake City. So the Layton area down through Sandy and then dry, down towards Point of the Mountain over towards Harriman up through West Valley. This is all included until 615. We have been seeing with this particular storm wind gusts around 60 plus miles per hour and also quarter sized hail. So very strong thunderstorms moving through the state today. Here's what it looks like on just that satellite and radar right now. Heaviest rainfall right now is airport wrapped around down through the east side belt, down through the southern end of 215 to that southern interchange along I-15 down towards about 114th south. So some very heavy rainfall creating problems for the evening drive. Leave yourself plenty of time today if you have to be on the road, but severe thunderstorm warnings also included in the Dugway area until 615, 60 mile per hour winds in that area down through Spanish Forks, spotty showers right now, but strongest storms currently near I-70 and south across central and southern Utah. Severe thunderstorm warnings for the Kanash area. This goes until 6.30 tonight. Ping pong ball size hail and also 60 mile per hour wind gusts. Further east towards Goblin Valley, a flash flood warning till 7.30. Over towards the Grand Staircase area till 8 o'clock tonight, we have a flash flood warning. We also have flash flood warnings till 11.30 for the Priya River drainage that was just issued. Plus big water and wall weep till nine o'clock tonight for the Lake Powell area. Those drainages coming down from Bryce. So just to recap, severe thunderstorm safety. We don't get severe thunderstorms very often here in Utah, but if you're at home, stay away from the windows. Usually the lowest floor is best, especially if there's going to be damaging wind or hail. If you're outside, get to a sturdy building or a car. And if you're in a car and you can drive to the closest secure shelter, or if you need to pull over and put those emergency blinkers on. So if you can hear thunder, you are close enough to be struck by lightning. Just a reminder, we'll have some very gusty winds in the overnight hours through tomorrow morning. Overnight temperatures will be pretty mild, about 65 to 75 for Salt Lake, Ogden and Provo at 7 a.m. But then check this out by tomorrow afternoon, we are warming up here across northern Utah. We're going to remain in the 60s throughout the day. Flash flooding expected in our recreation areas today, and we're going to continue with some very strong storms in the overnight hours, especially Utah County down towards I-70, and then again developing tomorrow afternoon. So the rain projection brings potentially two inches of rain to central Utah up into the western UNS, and that's enough to cause some problems. Smoke will briefly improve heading into Wednesday, but then come Thursday and Wednesday night, we're going to have that smoke returning most likely here across much of Utah. So for St. George, close to 90 tomorrow through Friday, about 100 degrees Sunday into next week. And for Salt Lake City, close to 70 through Thursday, very cool mornings in the 50s. And then you're warming back up into the 80s this weekend.